Nde Zame nenda kuba bwa One of the key fundamental rights for children is the right to education, which basically gives children the skills, both social, academic, and practical, to be able to live a meaningful life. Unfortunately, in many African countries, including Uganda, it is not something that is guaranteed for millions of children. AMPCAN is the African Network for Prevention and Protection Against Child Abuse and Neglect. The organization stands for the protection and promotion of the rights of children. There was a time when not every child in this country had a right to education because it was seen as the private duty of parents to educate their children. Until 1996, when the president announced universal primary education for all children in this country. The key issue of concern now is, are we trading off quality for numbers? So we had huge numbers of children going to school, but we didn't have the facilities, and we didn't have enough teachers, we did not have enough infrastructure, and gradually we begin to see that the quality is not as good as we expected. Among the problems that confront the education system now is teacher absenteeism. That you go to schools and children are sometimes teaching themselves, are idle, are just playing, and this is a valuable time. Our teacher absenteeism rate in the country is the worst teacher absenteeism rate in the whole world. If teachers are not there teaching people, then children cannot learn. Every child needs a teacher. A child needs guidance, needs to be exposed, needs to learn, and learning is a process. So without getting that opportunity, that means the child is getting a very big disservice. Education is so critical, and I strongly believe that it will be through education that we shall be able to transform this country. Iganga was one of the worst performing districts in Uganda. Children were not performing well because they are not attending to classes. There was a lot of teacher absenteeism. Some teachers were saying they are paid low salaries, so they are not able to sustain themselves for the whole term. So they opted for other businesses other than going to school. So those are some of the reasons that have led to poor performance in schools. One of the fundamental rights we believe in for children is the right to participate in matters that affect their lives. And that's what we've been doing over the years, which involved identifying a group of children whom we trained to monitor absenteeism in their respective schools and build the momentum for change. My name is Kaleja Ziada. I am in primary seven at Akanavala Blanc Primary School, District Igang. My mentalinga, Baba Navalia, teachers attendance, Nelly Diabana, who is a mirror to college over Good afternoon, class. How many boys? What about girls? Kuba, Umba, 
ngandi kolo muli mogo gwo ku monitoring ngo kutegera abasomesa abali ku isomero naba ngandi supporting any project here when the child is the first supervisor the teacher will be more keen to attend to him or her because the pupils who want the service who are to benefit are seriously involved ri ya chachu kam abasomesa bai dam bai dam tsera na abana bai dam tsera eri ona mbe ya abasomesa abe yongera twalinga na ikumi na babiri aye buti tulina abiri na babiri program yo na nunji kubanga eri tu supporting eite kali eferi okusoma absenteeism rates by end of 2010 had reduced to 10% from about 44%. The number of people who were failing the national exams reduced by 2.5%. This program was uh, was introduced in the Iganga district. It is a success. The children are able to participate in accountability and the smooth running of their schools. So I would be happy if similar services can extend to other parts of Uganda. We do believe that what we did in Iganga can be done anywhere in the country. The problems in Iganga are problems that you find in many other schools. It is problems of parents and children who are not aware of the rights that they, they hold or what they are entitled to. The future of this society, the future of our children is greatly hinged on the quality of learning and education that they attain. Everybody has a role to play in ensuring that the right to education is realized. The children have a role to play, the parents have a role to play, the policymakers have a role to play, and we all need to watch each other and hold each other accountable in enabling our children to attain the quality of education that they deserve. <laughs>